What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at the new Space Marine Assault Squad and the new Chapter Upgrade Kits. Man, I'll tell you what, this is some really cool stuff here. You know, I didn't even notice at first, but check out those sweet terrain fixtures that are actually separate bits that go on the Assault Squads, if you, you know, the ones with the jump packs, if you want them to, so they can have that crazy dynamic re entry pose right there. Um, so, like I said, we're going to take a look at these guys, and then we've also got all the clan packs to look at, too. So, unfortunately, Personally, I am true greeting these things today because I actually forgot my, my tripod and I'm doing a little bit of traveling but that's okay just getting some stuff done here so uh, it shouldn't affect things too much so we've got this um, sweet little decal sheet now they've cut these down from the full-on you know page thing that they used to be in now you get this little thing and it's actually pretty cool I mean it's got a lot of I mean you can see right there it's actually got a lot of uh, squad squad numbers, markers, you know, white uh, white uh, colored things and then black colored things, depending on what kind of background you want to put it on. Personally, I do a lot of airbrushing, so it doesn't quite work for me. And of course, these guys are on 32 millimeter bases, as to be expected. A, a lot of things are there. And then you get the, the standard two sprues. Now, if you're familiar with the assault squad, you know that this, this, I mean, just look at it. This thing is, it's chock full of bits. Like we haven't seen this in the past. Like, you know, the old Assault Squad from like the late 2000s or the late 1990s, early 2000s had a lot of empty spaces and it was, you know, it was kind of, you know, sculpted by hand. It wasn't done by the computer. I mean, you can tell just looking at all of this that there is so many parts, like so many different options. You can make them without the jump packs, with the jump packs. Now you got lots of cool pieces. Like I said, you got these little terrain pieces. Those are pretty dope. You got the jump packs. You don't have to have the jump packs. And a neat little feature that they didn't do before was they have the ones with the harness, at, or excuse me, the ones right here, the fronts with the harness. The fronts are just normal Aquilas, you know, the Mark the Mark 6, Mark 7 armor. And then over here, you've got the backs that represent, you know, they, they correspond with each one, which is really neat to see because we didn't see that in the past. If you wanted to do assault squads, you only got one set of torsos. Now, of course, they've got all of the different legs, which is really cool to see too. You know, they're two parts, they're multi-parts, kind of like the Berserkers, kind of like the Eldar Guardians. They're going to be a pain in the butt to put together, but they're going to be super dynamic looking and certain ones go with certain ones as well. So that being Instead, you know, there's also a sweet, uh, what is it, Storm Shield, uh, you got Combat Shield, you got the Gladius, the Thunder Hammer, also, you know, there's the Lightning Claw, the Power Fist, you know, there's a the Lightning Claw, excuse me, and then you've got the sweet uh, Power Axe as well, there's a huge ass Eviscerator in here somewhere, I forget where it's at, but there's a ton of options, of course, you got the special weapons as well, you got your flamers, your plasma pistols, your bolt pistol close combat weapon, of course, a staple of the Assault Squad. I mean, all this stuff is re-engineered. Uh, highly detailed, of course, because they did it on the computer. You know, it from from just like kind of an outsider and cursory look. You know, it doesn't look like a lot of things change, but that's not really the case, to be honest. Now, the instruction manual kind of you can see a lot of the the new uh, new features in here. Now, if you're gonna put this thing together, I can already tell by looking at it, you're gonna need to make sure that you follow these instructions here. They got a lot of new symbols in here that really will help you along the way because certain things only match up with certain things now. It's still a multi-part, but it's not interchangeable multi-part, you know what I mean? So, you know, you want to make sure that you're you, the, the right things are going with the right thing. So make sure you read the instruction manual. It's really good. I, I flipped through it. Um, they're, they've really upped their instruction manual game from back in the day when it was just like, yeah, you can kind of tell where stuff went. It might go here, it might not. Like, come on, guys. But <laughs> they have upped their game for sure with the, with the Assault Squad. I love this kit. I think, um, you know, not seeing their complete rules aside, uh, and not being able to tell exactly what's going on with them, I I like the models. Like I think they're going to be staples for a long time to come. Now we've got the new Space Wolf. Uh, what is it? Space Wolf Chapter Upgrade Pack. And it looks like it's focusing in there. So you got the Space Wolf upgrades. Now a lot of people are saying these might be you know like limited edition. Not a lot of people know exactly what's going on with them. Personally, I do not think these will be limited edition. I think these will be a great upsell piece. Uh, that people, you know, the Games Workshop stores can have. They need a lot of upsell items. They need the brushes. They need the tape measures. You know, they need the dice. They need these because you walk into a store, and you know, to me, it seems like Games Workshop's competing with you know every other game store out there and every other game system. So if you have things like you know the X-wing, uh, the X-wing ships, which is you know something that that you can walk into a store and you can buy an X-wing ship for like fi you know fifteen dollars, you know, all said and done. You can't really walk into a GW store and buy something meaningful for $15 or, you know, your local game store. But what's cool about these is 
that you can you know you can walk into a store you can get this for like 13 and 15 bucks you know you can actually do something with it it's an upsell item you know you get up to the register and the dude's like hey did you get the space wolf upgrade sprue you know I don't know oh hey that's a great idea you know maybe I can pimp out my assault squad or my tactical squad or my great hunters or whatever um you know that being said let's take a little closer look at them I like this sprue here because it's kind of like an homage to the older uh the gray hunter sprue like you've got this cloak here that was like a big thing back in the late 90s early 2000s gray hunter kit that was really neat a neat bit it's nice to see that make a comeback you got the frost uh frost axe you got a sweet backpack bit right there and we've seen a lot of these in living color already but i think the real kicker is that the 10 3d sculpted shoulder pads now these are only to the chapter the chapter badge pads you know it's something that um you know it's it's not quite, you know, you don't have the tactical sprue, you know, and you don't have the tactical marking, you don't have the fast attack marking, you don't have the heavy support marking. Maybe that's something that Games Workshop can do in the future, you know, offer a set like that. But I tell you what, when I used to do a lot of my, um, you know, Astartes armies, and I had a lot of them in my day, I feel like, I love these shoulder pads. I would spend, I think it was like a dollar twenty-five, two dollars a pad on the Bits wagon when it came around. Um, you know, to the various stores here in the Eastern United States, that used to be a big thing in the past. And I would just, I would buy, a, buy them up. You know, I would have those custom pads for my, uh, for my Marines, and stuff was great. Um, so here's the Dark Angels one, and this one's really cool too. And I mean, it's not a lot of bits that we've seen. Uh, traditionally in the past because they didn't do a whole lot of plastics for the Dark Angels but it's stuff that we've seen on models like this one right here like we saw that on the Dark Angels captain you know it was a whole miniature it wasn't really a bit you know the sweet sword here uh, a sweet you know they're the masters of plasma they're the first legion they they had a ton of plasma technology so you got the sweet plasma gun right there you've got you know all the iconography you know all these sweet torsos and things I think that's mark 4 I want to say I believe that's Mark IV armor right there. And then you got the hooded head as well. Something that you don't really see a whole lot of. Now, once again, you know, we saw the stuff on the front, like the plasma pistol, the sword, uh, the head right there. And then you've got all 10 of the shoulder pads, which to me, again, is a great value. I mean, I used to pay back in the early 2000s, like a buck 25 for these shoulder pads. So I feel like $13.25, $15 for these upgrade upgrade packs is a really good value. And then you got some other parts in here too. You know, you can do various upgrades, a couple heads. Uh, a couple things here and there so that one's pretty cool then we jump to the ultramarines one which is of course you know very stylized we've seen a lot of these bits in the past you know a mccrag honor guard uh bit there you know uh your uh what is it um sicarian uh sicarian sicarian uh kato sicarian the chaplain the cerisian mantle and things like that like that head's pretty popular now we get a bit for it um you know this this uh, uh top right here that was present in the command squad you know some of these gladius blades and things like that it's not really stuff that you could find on its own really cool to see and let me tell you what i know there's a lot of people out there that like decals but decals are great and they're not exactly my bag because i do a lot of airbrushing but i tell you what decal is a pain in the ass is these ultramarine decals if you ever try to put an ultramarine decal on anything you had a slit you know up here across the u it was just turned into colossal pain in the ass i hated doing them and i'll tell you what these pads here are money the correct size you know like i said we've already established the value that i feel um you know reflects these things right here you've got the, the sweet head there you know that only came with uh Sicarius back in the past then you've got this great you know tabard uh front torso things some gladius swords some extra little bits here and there that i think really you know put put it over the top really make it worth the money and the last one of course is going to be blood angels because why not and i'll tell you what you know we have been clamoring for that grail bit for so many years you used to only be able to get like the sweet grail and the space hulk and that's been like about eight years ago seven eight years ago and now you get the hand you know you can get the hand separate which is really nice uh of course you've got you know the all the different parts here you got the sweet front torso a bit with like the foam and fist on kind of sinewy kind of sculpted chest uh, and then you've got the you know the nipple armor <laughs> as it's affectionately called and why shouldn't it be how about that and then you've got you know the blood angel pads and things like that we definitely have established the value there so again really cool stuff you can kind of see in here you get the iron halo with the grail on it kind of grail halo and then the, that other helmet there that we saw on the front with the grail on it there's the grail itself you know the grail bit for your sanguinary priest uh, if you don't want to spend 30 bucks on Sanguinary Priest itself, you know, a tabarded helmet with uh, the really nice laurels on it kind of thing. 
and uh, color of helmets really I mean this is a great this is a great kit if you play Blood Angels and they've by far gotten the lion's share of cool bits over the couple of years you know with the uh, the Death Company squad and the Sanguinary Priest squad or excuse me Sanguinary Guard squad but you know I feel like it's really cool to see them come through as well so um, you know really cool uh, first wave of Astartes releases here for the Marines themselves you know you get these four great clan packs I didn't get the transfer sheets because like I said they're just not in my bag I can never use them for anything and then of course you've got you know the assault squad that came out and I kind of didn't show you the back so there's the back as well it just kind of shows you a few of the different colors that you can kind of paint things or some of the different configurations a lot of stuff's been spoiled already so uh, you know nice quick and easy uh, video unboxing here of the new stuff um, of course next week we will see the devastator squad and the marine codex as well keep it here on spiky bits for a uh, hopefully exclusive you know first look at those here um, the next weekend because that's going to be a big 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 release so uh, make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel check out the blog spikybitsblog.com and you can also find it at spikybits.com and help bring the hobby back head on over to the long war the home of the battle ports for exclusive content and early access videos become a veteran of the long one today.